settled next to the Willamette River, Auction Stadium is a jewel in the Pacific Northwest, and the flock of ducks that call it home have made this one of the most challenging places for any team to come calling. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Washington Huskies, taking on the fourth ranked team of the land, the Oregon Ducks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Washington will kick off as this one gets started. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Ducks offense will have the first possession of the game. And here he comes, just jogging onto the field. But what's going fast, the heart rate of everybody in this crowd, Jesse. Well, this is a special player. All eyes in the stadium on this guy. And David, you know the defense. They're going to have to find a way to try to slow this guy down. And he's going to touch it every single play. He'll be the main focal point. Can he handle the pressure? Can he handle the big moments? Can he handle this stage and lead his team in a big moment? Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Back to throw. It's Gabriel. Feeling some heat. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Taking it the other way. Touchdown, Husky. The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. What a play by the defense coming out early in the game on the very first drive and setting the tone. Not just forcing a three and out, not just forcing a punt. How about creating a turnover and taking it to the house? Pick six. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. The returner's going to try to see what he can get. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Grabbed in the middle. It's holding. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. The Ducks keeping this defense off balance. They can hit them from a variety of angles, this time going up top. There's so many things to look at. You know, they've always traditionally gone fast as well in the past at Oregon, but, you know, the quarterback run and the run up the middle and the play-action pass, they keep you guessing a lot, and they make a lot of plays down the field because your eyes are focused on something they shouldn't be focused on. And the Ducks have it with a first and ten. Give to the back. He breaks a tackle. Oh, he gave him a dead leg. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. He really shows you his skills on that last run. And I feel like today, if you're a running back at Oregon, you are expected to be explosive. You're not going to be a guy that goes in between the tackles and gains three yards, and that's okay. I feel like now today... He caught it! Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. Well, you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Oregon! And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground, and that was Pater. To 
attempt to try. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished it off with the score from the four. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Washington's offense will go to work for the first time today. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football at a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do, and you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much they'll test that cornerback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass, but he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's way. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. They'll mark him down right there, and that'll be enough for a Washington first down. Wow, how about the stop-start speed? That reminds you of Napoleon Kaufman or Bishop Sankey, Miles Gaskin, great Washington Husky running backs of years past that just made defenders look silly because of that stop-start ability. This dude has some wheels. They make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. Last time these two got together, it was a tight one, Jesse. Seems like every time these two teams play, the game just feels faster, right? Because it is a rivalry game. There's just a greater sense of urgency when they see these teams match up. Yeah, the fans feel it. They know it. There's so much to it. They think about it all year long. When you talk about the next game on the schedule, they're always looking forward to this one. Great job by the defense there, slowing down that jet sweep. And a big key was the defensive end containing the play, forcing the receiver to cut back inside to where all the traffic was. And he earns a first down, and boy, did he earn it after taking that lift. Washington has a lot of things working, set up with another first down. Used the play fake, now to throw. Got him downfield. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. Part of the DNA of the Washington offense has been a guy who can get it done with his arm. And just finding a guy that makes everybody around you better, that can make the right decisions, that can highlight your skill positions, that's what gets the Washington fans going crazy, going nuts, and that's when they have those... Fires deep toward the end zone. Fires into traffic, picked off. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Well, the defense comes away with the pick there with their nickel personnel. I think moving forward, if you're on offense, when you see that personnel on the field, you want to run the ball against it because you've got smaller guys out there. Or if you're going to throw, think about quick screens outside when you have tight ends flexed on the perimeter, bigger bodies blocking smaller guys. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? gets it out quickly and a good pick up to move the chains and the clock will expire and that's how they'll be set up to start the second quarter and that's why they got to keep running the football man because play action is going to be a big part of this game plan you've got to get this tight end over the middle of the field vertically and give him an opportunity because you just saw how dangerous he is after the catch they fought to a standstill in the first let's see if someone can get the edge in the second quarter Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Here we go. Oh. Looking for a man, it's Gabriel. Looking down the middle. 
All kinds of room to throw that one in there. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. The Ducks have it with a first and ten. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? Have they been aggressive? Okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. He's off to the races. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. A nice job by the offense there, attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it right on his guy. They've got him wobbling after that big play now to pay it off on first and 10 from inside the 15. Pushes ahead for a pickup of one down to the 13. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people. He's got it in the end zone! Touchdown, Ducks! Nice job understanding. I got to get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for him and he catches it, gets two feet in bounds in the end zone. Touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions. But I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive that made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it. Move on. Play the next play. Perfect play call for that big gain to open the drive. Now here they come on first and ten. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Give to the running back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Listen, I know that's not a huge gain, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Quick completion on the out. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, good call by the defense there. They dialed up blitz into that running play, and the linebacker able to make the stop. 
Looking to pass. It's Rodgers. Makes the catch. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Guys in the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and I got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on it. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Down to the 16-yard line, it's first and 10. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Going for six. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. He's being a little reckless with that football. Threw the interception last time and almost threw another one here. Golly, that's best back-to-back -back drives. you got to have your quarterback making smart decisions. And it's intercepted. A turnover for the defense. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Man, this thing's starting to snowball now in a bad way for this offense. Second interception in as many drives. This quarterback has got to be able to turn the page and make better decisions. Offense getting set for first down. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Got it in the middle. It's Johnson. Just finds that little crevice and he's still up. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. Looking to go up top on first down. Shoots it to the left. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. Couldn't connect on that last play. Now second and 10 from the 42. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. And they are fortunate to get the ball back, but unfortunate to have a long way to go after that loss. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. He can't find his man, and the clock stops with six seconds left. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. The Ducks will try to pin them back with the punt. And that one will find its way into the end zone for a touchback. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks so much, guys, and I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion, and no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far, and you got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. Thanks for that halftime report, Kevin. And the Ducks will kick it away to crank up the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Williams. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Those two first-half turnovers really damaging in the primary reason they find themselves trailing to start the third quarter. And this is an offense that prides themselves on taking care of the football and then having explosive plays. You know they're playing angry right now. They're mad. They know they're the reason why they're down in this game. So I expect them to come out here, lighten it up here at the first drive of the second half. Yeah, and this defense playing fast, playing physical, forcing things into action, forcing those turnovers. They played really well in this first half. Washington wants to go quickly. They'll run it from the gun. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. 
Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. Dropping back, it's Rodgers. He's got his man. This offense has a little room and a fresh set of downs at the 23. Washington coming to the line with another first down. Jet sweep headed to the edge. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And a great job seeing the motion coming across the formation, understanding the jet sweep's a possibility, pulling the trigger, going and getting the guy on the ground. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Hunter. A six-yard pickup that leaves them with third and four. Up-tempo for the offense. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Trying to get to him. Took a shot as he threw. And it's incomplete on third down. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls in. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. On the move, it's Johnson. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. And it's incomplete. Good play downfield by the DB. Great play by the defensive back, showing you his variety of skills. His ability to turn the hips, his speed running downfield, turning his head to locate the football and then swatting it away. You just can't do it better. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. I love that play call. This offense is going to run the football. They're not just going to do it between the tackles, but they're going to attack you outside. You saw that with that handoff. They get to the right. They get him in space using his speed. Good play call. It's caught. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. You always have to be aware of the running threat from the Oregon quarterbacks, but here getting business done through the air. No doubt, Reese, because you're worried about his legs, the read game, all the stuff they can do. It opens up the passing attack. And I think when you've seen the Ducks teams throughout history, the ones that have enough balance to keep you off guard, keep you guessing, are the ones that are the best teams. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business for the first and goal. Yeah, you could see the running back, man. He was smelling the end zone. Nice cuts, nice job getting all the way down the field. He gets so close to punching it in. You could tell he wanted to, but pushed out of bounds at the two. And guess what? First and goal from the two, this offense will take it. The Ducks trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Trying to bully their way in. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon! The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to seven. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. 
Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Motion from the offense. Headed for the corner on the jet sweep. Can't get him to the ground. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. I love when you run this play because it forces the defense to react. Do you want to spin a safety down? Somebody better keep contained. Very hard to defend the jet sweep. It's a very good play, especially when you got somebody with speed taking that handoff. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, what a play by that defensive lineman. You, you could say he was channeling his inner power. And that's what defensive linemen do. Big, fast, one of the most athletic players on the field, getting in the backfield, just beautiful. You know, you could have shown a little humility there and said, oh, shucks, or something. Oh, shucks, or something. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Wants to throw. It's Rodgers. Got his man quickly. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. They'll go to the ground. They knock him down behind the line, and the defense finishing this third quarter in style. Time has expired here in the quarter, and Oregon has the lead. They've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. This drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. He's looking to throw. Finds a spot in the middle. And he got enough for the first down, but somebody put the hit stick upside his head. Washington right back to the line. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. Offense lining up quickly. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody in bounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be soon. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage, so everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. Pressure. A shot toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Washington! Before that score, considering last rights, now all of a sudden, they're not dead yet. In fact, they're feeling much better, and they're alive, and they've got a chance. And I'm looking on the field right now, and I'm looking at their sideline. They're energized, Reese. After that last score, all of a sudden, they believe they can come back and win this game. This is a totally different looking team than what we saw earlier. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. 
in the slant route, you got to put that foot in the ground and cut in in a hurry so you can create a little bit of separation from that cornerback and a nice job with the concentration, plucking that football, pulling it in. Off play action on first down. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Touchdown, Ducks! And once he got loose, it was all over. Now they have extended this lead, guys, starting to put the hammer, but sometimes a rivalry game can give you a little of extra fight back. And there can be no panic at this point now. You've worked too hard this offseason, David. They've had this game circled for so long. You've got to play your best football right now and fight back. And you just need something good to happen on this next possession. You've got to get the crowd back into this football game. Big rivalry. Get some emotion. Get some momentum on your side. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 20. Finally stopped after a solid return out to the 32. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. First snap of this drive will come from their own 32. He'll try to pop the draw. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Quickly complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Throw him to the spot, and that's exactly what he did to pick up the first down. And that's so many hours of doing this together. You know exactly when he's going to break on that out route. You know what kind of speed he has because you've thrown it so many times. Nice rhythm and timing, and you could tell that was experience between receiver and quarterback. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline and you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Takes it from the gun on third down. Just a short pass to the tight end. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. He'll just keep slinging it. Coming after it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. He's looking for an open man on second down. Pulls it in. It's Jackson. Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. He wants to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Hunter. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking for a man. It's Rodgers. Unloads to the right. Another incompletion on third down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. On fourth down, they're taking to the air. Makes the grab, and it's plenty for the first down. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. The Huskies will try to put one on the board on first and goal. Let's it fly. Throw to the end zone. Picked off. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. 
That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they try to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in it and keep chucking and keep scoring, I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to, to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defense's job to stop you. 